Hi Stampers, it's Christy with Stampin' Texas. Today I wanted to share a really fun, quick, easy kit that you can purchase from the Occasions Catalog. It's called the Happening Simply Created Card Kit. This is what the uh, front of the kit looks like. In this kit, you have everything you need to create 15 cards, five each of three different designs. It comes with all the pieces pre-perforated, uh, ready to be punched out and put on your card, as well as envelopes, the note card bases, everything you need to create fun cards like these. And I just love this baker's twine. It has a little uh, hint of silver running through there, if you can see that. But these are some of the cards that I made with this kit, and I really, really like these. These are so fun and quick and simple. It comes with instructions, so I'm not going to share with you how to put all the pieces together. But what I do want to share with you today is how to, a tip for threading these buttons with the Baker's Twine. And if you purchase the Baker's Twine that's the silver or the gold, um, also, my other little tip is to tie a knot in the end so it doesn't unravel. Now, some of these I can cut a little bit shorter now that I've got that knot in there, but be, you'll want to be sure to not put a knot in the end because um, you can notice like on this one, it starts to unravel as you're tying it and making your loops and things. So let me show you how to thread the button. I think everything else went so simple and so quick and then threading the button kind of hung me up a little bit but this was a tip I learned long ago and I don't know if you recognize this little thing these are flossers and I just bought them at the pharmacy but this little guy really helps what you're gonna do is take the baker's twine through the end of the flosser like that and I leave a pretty good length on it so it doesn't come out it's almost acting like a large needle take the button you're going to stick the end of the flosser up through there. Pull that. Now that I've got the one side, I'm going to leave a little bit on the top. And then run that back through, just like you would with a needle, for the other end. And I'm going to go across from it. And then I just hold that with my thumb. And there you go. Now it's thread. It's on there, and then all you're going to do is just tie it like you normally would. I just do a knot, then a loop, and go around like that. And then you just kind of play with the size you want. You can make it shorter or longer. And at this point, I would go ahead and put a knot in each one of the ends and trim it down. And then to adhere it onto the front of my card, I did use glue dots. I added about two to three glue dots. On the back of the button and it just goes right on there quick and simple but i hope you enjoyed today's tip and be sure to check out the happening simply created card kit and it's 14.95 for 15 cards which is a great deal thanks so much for watching and for more fun project ideas be sure to like my facebook page thank you